Chapter 13, Octing of Columns, Example Number 2. In this example, we want to study a two pin supported column. So two pin ended column with a two meter long length with a square cross section area, cross sectional area having a modulus of elasticity of a 13 gigapascal and a allowable or acceptable a normal stress of 12 megapascal and a factor of safety of 2.5 by the use, use of Euler's critical load we want to calculate the dimension of cross section if a P is a 100 kN kn and in a second condition if we double the, the force is if that's a 200 k for the second scenario so let's see how that goes so we do know the length is two meter in scenario a force apply at the top is is 100 k knowing the factor of safety from problem statement is 2.5 a p critical is factor of safety to the force because we want to design the cross-sectional area of our column we can consider the applied p as a critical p and multiply that by factor of safety to to have the critical load as soon as we have the critical load by applying the Euler's, so these are the problem statement e is 13 gigapascal and both ends are pin that gives us an effective length of of just one times uh, so if you remember from a previous part if we do have a pin at both end that's a one times l so that's a one times two meter that's all effective length for a two pin scenario so if that's the case we already know the formula of, of critical load from Euler's method that's a pi square times modulus of elasticity time, uh, times a moment of inertia of the cross section over effective length square so if we just rearrange this equation to get i this time so if we rewrite this equation for i that's p critical times effective length squared over pi squared times e so we already have pi uh, uh, sorry we already have, uh, know what p critical is we do know what effective length is and modulus of elasticity is given we just replace in the formula and we get the moment of inertia of, of if, you, if you replace the critical load mm -hmm, times effective length squared over pi squared times modulus of elasticity in terms of Pascal you can get a moment of inertia of 7.710 to negative 6 meter to force and that gives us a as soon as you do know what your moment of inertia is for a square that's a 112 a, a to the force and you can get a is equal 98.3 millimeters and you can consider it as as 100 millimeter that's the area of our square cross section that's 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters so for checking the value of normal stress of, of our column we can simply divide the force over the area so 100 kn the, the original force over the cross-sectional area is 10 megapascal so that's uh, below our acceptable or allowable sigma stress so that's a acceptable section design so our cross section is acceptable so let's see what will happen as if we double the force so if this time we apply the two eyes of that force that's this time a compressive force of 200 kilonewtons apply at the top 
again factor of safety remains the same this time peak critical is 2.5 factor of safety times this time 200 k that gives us a, a critical force of of 500 k and if again we do know what modulus of elasticity is uh, effective length remains the same and if again we rewrite our equation based of a moment of inertia it just gives us an i which is equal to 15.5 almost 10 to negative 6 meter to force and that gives us a a is equal to 100 almost 17 millimeters we want to check the value for normal stress to not to exceed not, not exceeding the acceptable one or other one and that's sigma p over a 200 this time original force divided by a cross-sectional area which is this number squared and that gives us 14.6 which is a bigger than our adorable stress of, of 12 megapascal so this time it, this is not acceptable if you have a normal stress higher than your uh, adorable stress that design is not acceptable so what to do then we need this time design the section based on on the we can this calculate the area this time based on our limiting factor so that's the, that factor is 12 megapascal so that gives us this much of area if the buckling criteria is not uh, sufficient enough we need to go by the cross section which allowable stress gives us that 16.67 10 to negative uh, 3 meter square and that just gives us a new dimension which is almost 130 you can consider a design of 130 millimeters time 130 millimeters square and that's acceptable because the limiting for a factor is allowable at the denominator so that we do not need to check it anymore thank you we'll solve more example on buckling of columns